coming up next, Awkward Guy tries to high five with his left hand downstage. And yay, Awkward Guy. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Rodney. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about your auditioning process. You know, yes. like what you do and how you have to psych yourself out. You have to do yoga before you actually audition. And then also, you mentioned earlier that you have a little beef with specs. I do. <laughs> Some of these I, do. I have a, I have, I have, I have a, I have a spec beef. Mm. Well, first let's start with your spec You're beef. You're not alone. And then tell us how, what you So my it. spec beef, I always use this analogy. <laughs> if I came to Chuck and Stacy and said, guys, you, I, I, I hear that you build houses for a living. That's great. Build me a house. And then you turned around and you built this lovely two-story home with four windows and a little yard and said, here, Roger, we built you a house. And I went, uh, why is the front yard so big? And there's four windows, I wanted 10. And uh, two stories, I only needed a single story. Well, guess what? That young couple over there built me that exact house, so I'm gonna go with them. You'd be like, oh, well, you could have told me that you were yep. looking for mm. something, right? You just asked me to build you a house. So, so specs in the business, if you don't know, are uh, it, when, they're, when they're asking to find talent for any given project. We are looking for female voice actors, to play an age range of roughly 25 to 45. Uh, sometimes that's all you get. Uh, sometimes they'll say uh, she should have a very husky voice. She should have um, a little smoke to her voice. Uh, we're looking for a very natural, grounded read with no discernible accent, or we would like to hear a British take and a non-discernible accent take as well. Um, specs are so crucial because it helps any professional within any, within any given industry, like I, that's why I use the house building exactly. or whatever it might be. Yes. It's a great yes. house yes. painter. Yeah. It's like if you said, uh, you know, paint me a, you know, paint me a picture, and I handed you a brick and a bucket, and I was like, you know, you'd be like, well, what do I do? I with was this? hoping like, to see a refrigerator. Yeah, exactly. Right. And you'd right. be like, well, I thought right. you said you were a painter. And I'm like, I am. Well, well, there's your brick and there's your bucket. Paint it something. And I'm like, well, I'd need brushes and an easel. And it's like, because professionals work with certain tools. Exactly. Mm. And so, if as a voice actor, you are asking all of these people that are out there to spend time because some of us actually do spend time yes. reading the specs and trying to understand what the scope of the project is, what it is that you're trying to accomplish with this little 30 second story, if it's an ad, or if it's trying to bring a certain character to life. Knowing as much as I can about what you might desire from the character or the interaction of yeah. all their relationships, but in an actable sense. Actable language is, is a term, uh, I forget the gentleman that did this, but it was at GDC a few years back. He, he had like a conference where he talked about specs and how crucial they are in finding the right people for your jobs. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have good specs, what you might get is the one actor who was lucky enough that day with that shotgun approach to have their little piece of buckshot land on the target, whereas all these other professionals are out there and they're doing their absolute best, mm -hmm. yeah. but they just didn't, they weren't given enough tools to work with. Right. So specs to me, it's like, it's just, it's it, and, and it, people are getting lazy. So they just go, I don't know, it's just a voice, you know, like, yeah, I don't know, a, a male, female voice. We'll know what we hear. Yeah, yeah, we'll know what we don't like. And it's like, well then, you know. <laughs> a professional actor, but not too professional. Right. right. Or the best is, you know, no voiceover people. Like, we're not yeah. looking for voices, yeah, we're I looking know, for actors. Them. And you're like, what do you think we do? Like, mm. that is the job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, I, I don't know. It's it, it's a bit of a gripe, but it's also more about, it's it's me just kind of going, I see a an area where we could get better because I rely very heavily on, when you were when we were talking earlier about Batman, I think I rely very heavily on the people that are on the other side of the glass because right. it is a collaborative effort. Right. It's rare that you as a voiceover person get to go in uh, and just say, well, here's the decision I've made for your character, and it's yes. going to be brilliant because I'm a thespian. And th there are people who are saying, like, hey, uh, we need it shorter, faster, funnier, louder, softer, absolutely, pitch it up, yeah. pitch it down. So let me ask it's you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So if you're sitting there and you're you have an audition for something, let's say commercial. You mm -hmm. audition for commercial stuff as well, right? Um, it's a commercial, and the specs are kind of vague. Mm -hmm. What do you do? How? What do you do to make sure that whatever you give is going to be in the area of what they actually want, even if they don't know what they want? So I will try, <laughs> I will always try to take some of the punctuation and throw it out the window. Mm. Sometimes I will take the specs and throw them out the window, even though I'm, when I'm sitting here complaining. But um, if, uh, 
if if I can, I'm going to try to give them something that might perk their ears up, especially when it comes to with with animation, with characters and that kind of thing. I think everybody's making such unique choices because everybody's just sort of inherently unique. Right. Mm -hmm. But when it's retail copy or if it's an ad or that kind of thing and they're like and it's like, you know, introducing the all new blah blah blah. There's just really only so many ways you can do it, but I, I try to be mindful of like, well, what if I was to adjust my cadence or insert punctuation that wouldn't typically be there, that wouldn't be a disservice to this, but might perk up some ears because mm -hmm. they're going to hear so many of these right. things. Right, it's just going to be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They're going to hear so many of these auditions that are going to sound the same, the same cadence, you know, it's like, so I try to do that, and then I try to book the audition, but in the audition take, deliver what I feel like will wind up being what they direct you to anyway. Mm -hmm. So all this <clears throat> BS about, oh, super grounded and real and not announcer and thrown away. They never go with that. Door, and I then, know. When or it's written, it's, it's written with like introducing the all new, which is yeah. like, you know, like sound natural. Like, hey, Chad, Stacey. Um, this just in. Introducing the all new VO Buzz Weekly mug. mug. Right? It's like it's like, you know, hey, we're just friends talking. Yeah. Talk to one person. Mm -hmm. It's just one person. It's, it's just all new. Yeah. I'm just talking yeah. to you, Stacy, introducing the all new VO Buzz Weekly mug. mug. You'd be looking at me like 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 I had a head injury or he's something. He's drinking was wrong. his cool again. Yeah, so either, yeah. he's either on or off his meds. Yeah. Um so I try to do something where it's like I, I'd be mindful of I want to do what I can to book the audition, and mm -hmm. then I want to give them also what I think they're gonna need, which is usually just down and dirty retail. So if it is introducing yeah. the all new and they want us to do something like real relaxed or you know, like real intimate or this, you know, throwing away that kind of thing. You'll do the introducing, you know, you know don't be mindful of your addiction because then you're real. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll give them the uh, sandwich. Yeah, and then you give them the introducing the all new and do it uh, as fast as possible real. too. Yes, because you know they're gonna write forty five seconds worth of copy for a seven yes. second tag. Yeah. yeah, and so I try to I try to think in terms of that because that side of the business tends to be very functional. Mm -hmm. um, and so I try to I try to be mindful of like I can give you the art, but at the end of the day you're gonna need to also and know that you the send yes. happens to after yes. you send your audition in. Yeah. Do you think about it or are you yeah. like, whatever? Oh, within five minutes I call my agent and I go, why haven't I booked that? Yeah. You know, that's because uh, always. Don't they do know that. who I am? Always call your agent and ask why you're not booking. He's they kidding. love that. It's called and why you're not even that. getting the copy. They yes. love that too. Or if you're submitting your demo, oh. call the agent and talk to the assistants <laughs> and keep asking if they've listened to your demo. It's a great way to break into the business. <laughs> You Cue sarcasm. Yeah, especially calling. Yes. Sarcasm. Yeah. And if sarcasm. you answer, sarcasm. leave a message. You know. um, and and, and is the animation, your animation audition is basically the same or are you a little bit more... That... That I that I will looser. tend to go... That I tend to go like, I'm going to try to do whatever might surprise me. Yeah. Because then, because because that's another thing that we have to be mindful of doing this is that I, you know, every time I book a character on a show, I try to do something for the next one that's going to be a little different than that. Yes, right. I only have so much I can do in terms of range and register and all that kind of stuff before it might start to sound something similar, but I can adjust my attitude, my cadence, my laugh, my all that kind of stuff. So I try to do things that surprise me yeah. more than that's anything cool. else as long as they're, you know, as long as the specs are, as long as I'm still honoring yeah. what, they, what yeah. they want. Yeah, you know? I love it. Beautiful. I love yeah. it. Thanks. So, have to nerd out just for a second. So, we love you as the announcer in World of Dance. <laughs> Great, thank you. And I know that you're Wait, like... Wait, sorry. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. That's, right. that's, my, so that's my reaction. A dry that's heave would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Mm, juicy burp. That was actually not a really dry heave. That was kind of a... It was juicy, but I like that. I like that. No, but seriously, I love... I mean, you know, that the dance world is where I lived for a very long time, but... Um, it just, I love, I mean, it's like, it's like a, it's like a video game, like the intensity wow. and the, I mean, right. I just, I think I'll it's fantastic. It. Thank you. It's, it's, you so it, it's so good because you've been with it. This is the second season and there's just something about it, like the, just the production value of the show and then your performance and yeah. your excitement. It, I don't know. I just think it's, but, it's stellar then, work. I yeah. love it. Thank I you. Really Thank you. Your, your voice on that just Really oh, makes it, it in. takes the excitement of the show. Yeah. Okay, I mean, because the, the, the cool thing, first of all, we're world of dance geeks, totally. Yeah, Great. Um, but the cool thing about that show is that you don't see mediocre talent. No, you know what I mean? No, I it's mean, nuts. Everybody who's on here is just like, Oh my god, yeah. like, level, and yeah. how old are you, 12? Yeah. Yeah. Right, like the lab. This year's winner is exactly. the lab. Oh exactly. my gosh! So little ones up front, you're like, I could, I adorable. Like we were laughing about this. I could, I could try for ten years <laughs> to do thirty seconds of what they yeah. do. Yeah, and you might break a hip. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah exactly. So, so the bar is here, right? And when I first 
heard your voice, I didn't know it was you. I'm like, oh my God, they freaking matched the bar. You know, they, they mm. matched the, wow. the, the level of excitement yeah. and how good the dancers are with the announcer. He's doing this thing, and what is he doing? Is he trying to do like a dude kind of cool just hip thing? Yelling. Right. How is he getting that? <laughs> So I'm just yelling. You're just yelling. Hyping. Well, I guess it's like a hype thing. Like, like you know what it was when we when we first got. Can you give us an example? Oh of, boy. Of, of Chuck. What we do? Blow your level. No, it won't. Like... The mic is totally treated. It's okay. not gonna blow. Yeah. yeah. Make some noise for B Dash and Concrete. So cool. <laughs> That's, That's it. Make some noise. <laughs> He's not lying. Coming to stage next. But so, so that nice. that yeah. came about because I think. Typically, like what happened, I, I forget what the audition specs were for that, but um, I think they wanted something kind of like a Power 106, uh, which uh -huh. is like a local hip hop station out yeah. here in LA. And there's a lot of like like hip hop hype, and so there's a lot of this like you know, what's up? It's your boy, blah 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 blah. blah. You know, come to the blah blah. blah. You know, I, and it's always like local, like you know, like car dealerships. <laughs> Dealership, you know, like, like, oh, I'm gonna buy a Honda. Okay, I'll buy um, it. Oh my god. No, so we, we did what we did for that, but it wasn't anything like that. And then I got to like, I think what was the callback with the producers at the time, and and I was like, but do you, we should have like a live thing, and I and I just re relied on like being an MC, mm -hmm. and it's like you know, like you, you come out and you grab that microphone and you gotta wake up that audience, you know, if the last you know comic lost them. You gotta, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of like yeah. dangly object. Well, yeah, because the, yeah. Yeah. the yeah. different styles of dance that are represented, I mean, it's not like it's just a ballroom contest. True. or a ball So you really have to kind of feed off of Yeah, the but I don't styles. have that benefit because yeah. I'm not actually there. Yeah. Um, right. But, but it was me just trying to go like, okay, well, here's what live guys do. And so I, I literally looked at the engineer. I was like, I'm going to back way off mic. And, and the producers were in the room with me. And I was like, this is what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And we started doing that hype thing. And then so it became, fun. I think that's what they liked. Yeah. And, uh, and so, yeah, it. it's just, it's hype, hype, Well, hype. then you juxtapose that with your whole yard crasher, kitchen crasher. Oh if you have to crash a you room. You do all the crashers, too, huh? I did, yeah. That if was... there's a room to crash, Roger was talking about it. I was I, was I love that. That was a, that was a what great did, series. What did they have? Room, house, it started yard, with yard. bath, kitchen. kitchen. Yard, kitchen crashers, bath crashers. Yeah. There was room crashers on HGTV. Very that was yard short crashers. lived. Yeah. Oh, we said yard. five. I think it was a yard house. Was it closet bath. crasher? No. What was it? Kitchen. I can't remember. That. I thought there was one other. I thought there was. A, I thought there were five at one point. Yeah. yeah. There yeah, was a lot of crashing. I rest was like, in peace. No longer. Yeah. No longer yeah. happening. But I'm, they might still be in reruns. They are. Yeah. I'm sure they are. Yeah. yeah. That's how that goes. Yeah. Um, and then of course we'll get yelled at if we don't mention Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. He's, Sonic. He's been Sonic. around. Shrill wow. and annoying. Since what, like two, <laughs> 2010. 2010. 2010, yeah, yeah. Coming so up in, uh, it'll be nine years next year, yeah. which is wow. crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. And it's, it's crazy. cool because they've Beyond kind of, he's, he's sort of taken a little bit of a, uh, of an arc, would you say? I guess so. He's having a renaissance right now of sorts where they've got a live action Sony film that, mm. uh, that's been announced where I will not be voicing that. There's a high probability of, uh, of Sonic appearing in another film that has been sort of teased and announced mm. by, by certain directors of said project, but I'm not trying to <laughs> violate anything that I, it's quite yes. possible, who yeah. knows, and wh whether or not I'm voicing him in that is, I mean, anybody who can yes. it's yeah. 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 Maybe we'll find out in November, I don't even know, oh. you know, maybe. Maybe it's Zach Braff, yeah, I don't know. There you go, right? could be. Could be. But no, it seems like you know that's that's a that's one of those things where it's such a it's such a weird thing. Like I like when you mentioned Batman, I just I it's so weird to have somebody go like, yeah, so you've been Batman, and you kind of go big asterisk, you know. Yeah. Always, it's like yeah, I've voiced him, or, or because it doesn't feel, and this is that inner monologue yeah. thing and all that. So yeah. like when I look in the mirror, I don't see anybody who's doing what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't see that guy. But then you'll you'll come and do something like this where people go like, well now you this and and what was your process? And you're like, I don't know. I just wanted to book a gig. <laughs> I was like, I just hope that I was good enough to not suck and get kicked off the set. That's what I was. Yeah, I think that was my motivation. Mm. And so all those things kind of come into play. So when somebody says like, yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, and you go, yeah, since 2010, it's kind of a, kind of a trip. Yeah. Or or even uh, Assassin's Creed has the anniversary of t Assassin's Creed Two is next yeah. year, the 10 year anniversary yeah. of that project coming out yeah. in 2009, and man. all that stuff. You just go. Yeah. Weird. So I'm going to ask you a question that you're going to hate. Oh. Uh oh. And probably you're just going to get up, throw the mic, and walk off. Okay. okay? Right. You ready for In that me? order? Yes. Exactly. Here Otherwise, you go. I'm Let's make it drama. Okay. A drama. Drama. Hold on your Sponsored drama. Sponsored by drama. Mean. Drama. Mean. Roger. Yes. You should what? have spats or spanks. <laughs> Whatever. Is it obvious that I'm wearing spanks? Either no. or. <laughs> 
sorry. Muffin top. Muffin yeah, exactly. Top. Um, what are some things that you really love about yourself? That I love. Oh yeah. You know what? I'm out of here. That. Uh, Do it. Oh man, that's funny. I don't know. I don't know. That's that has actually been. That has actually been the struggle for me, and yeah. I think this is kind of like what maybe Fred and I were like sort of touching on that kind of thing. Um, I don't but know. But when you I think pull I've... up to the table mm -hmm. and you say, you know, because Chuck brings, the, I bring, we all bring something unique to the table. So when you pull up to the table, you go, yeah, that's cool. I bring this to the table. I'm happy to be there. I'm honored to be there. I know I've earned the right to be there, but the, I, I think I don't, I don't want to think about what I bring. I don't, I don't, it's like, if anything, I hope that they appreciate, like, I'm just going to make some choices, and this actually does go back to probably why I found myself into, uh, I found myself in comedy, and I've talked to my friends that are still doing comedy, mm -hmm. is what we call the please like me syndrome, yeah. mm -hmm. which is where it's like, there's something that happened at some point in life that you were like, you needed this from people, yeah. and we still have that, and I yeah. still have that, for sure, yeah. and trying to find that, ride that balance that you're talking about, like, have that balance of going, I want them to like me, but I also got to be good and professional and all this stuff and not, and then just when it's done and over with, like, let it be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, not, like, rethink and revisit because then you start doing stuff like, you know, calling your agent going, why haven't I booked anything? Did they get my demo? It's like, it's like, no, hey, put it out there and hope that it's good enough and then be settled and then go look at stars. Yeah. Or go that was very well done. Okay, see, okay, look. thank you. And see, look, look at, at that. You. you know that I'm not an on-camera guy because I'm using my downstage hand and stuff <laughs> And I own three quarters and all that kind of stuff. Well, I can't do that with my left hand. You cannot? I can what? only do it with my right. See, I, I'm horrible at that. And there's nothing worse than when somebody who's super cool and they come out there and you go, hey, dude. And you're like, oh, no. Hey, I can shake your hand. That's what I'm good at. Or the uh, fist bump. I'm just getting better at it. Hey, Roger. He's Heisenberg. Uh, where are we going industry. to? We're going to do that? Uh-oh. Okay. This is a mystery question. Uh-oh, boy. All right, go ahead. Making profit okay. on YouTube. Right. Richard, Richard good. I want you to yes. pick. <laughs> Sir Richard, please. I've not been Sonic the Hedgehog for nine years to not be called Sir Richard. Yes, what am I you're doing? You're gonna pick any card. Is this a magic trick? Is something gonna happen here? Or? No, you're uh, just gonna pick any card, and then if you want to read it, I'm make her eat her words and pick um, all of these. <laughs> any card? Read all I'm of picking, them. Okay. You're gonna answer all of them. <laughs> this see. is a sick. Now this is the okay, month. Shuffle them. Okay, this now is I just. Month. I'm screwing this whole thing up. Now you're gonna have a repeat because I just shoved all That's these okay. to the That's okay. That's okay. Why don't I just go ahead and take this one card? You're so pretty. Wait, card. Card. but is that not the one you want? Because I don't want you to go, man, she gave me oh, that. Oh, he's never gonna pick the right card. I <laughs> Dude, this is gonna take him forever to pick the right card. Interesting. Okay. Sound out the words. Oh, he, interesting. Sound out the words? If like you, it's like a charades game? You, no! No. 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 You, do you like that card? Or do you want uh, a different card? Read it uh, World of Dance style. No, I'm just kidding. Oh well, here, this would actually be fitting. Oh, no. Again, I apologize for the microphone. No, it's all right. <laughs> How has music changed in your lifetime? <laughs> Coming up next. That's like their band name. I love it. Coming up to the stage next. How has music changed in your lifetime? <laughs> for the divisional right. finals. On the divisional finals. Uh, how has music It's the cut. <laughs> right? So picture me. Yeah, that's not my breath, by the way, because I'm probably protecting a lot. Like I saw you doing that. Okay. No, I got I nothing. Okay, good. Yeah, good, 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 good. the best. I just again, this was the same even, week that I yeah, showered I'm, and the week I that I brushed my teeth. Do you even right like that? Do you want a different? Uh, how has music changed in your lifetime? Like, I don't has know. it kind of like I you don't like basically had a lifetime? I don't like that. Okay, we're right, gonna try a different one. Well, now it's just all ooh, 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 ooh. Well, this one's just like, who's the funniest person on earth? <laughs> Looking you? at him. I mean, Look at is him. there a mirror anywhere around here? Like, here, let me hold it for you. Uh, do you have somebody that you think is just like the funniest person? Fred Tattashore gets me every time. Oh yeah. yeah. I will say that like there were there were so many sessions with Avengers Assemble where I would leave <laughs> and I'd be driving home and I'd realize I was hoarse. And I was like, it's not from Cap throwing his shield yeah. the whole time. It was from in between takes where Fred the entire cast, we'd all be doing something and cracking mm -hmm. each other up, yeah. and we're just, you know, dying laughing. But Fred and I, like Fred and I, will literally call each other sometimes and just start an improv on the phone for whatever reason. Yeah, and it's just, and we're just trying to crack each other up, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. and he's like such a great. He can keep that straight face for so long, and it yeah. drives me crazy. Yeah. He is. Um, yeah. No, I don't know who the funniest person on earth. Dead or alive. Yeah, man. Robin Williams was amazing. He was. He amazing. was. I don't know that. I don't there, know. The I don't people, think there will ever be. Another I don't think Robin so. Williams. I really don't. He was yeah. an exceptional human being. It was just you know, and and 
and troubled and all that kind of stuff and yeah. and, and and we're so lucky that that he was yeah. in a weird mm-hmm. way yeah. like we all yeah. benefited from that which sounds yeah. horrific but yeah. it's like I know. no i i uh i don't know that there could be a, anybody i mean he was just lights out every single he was time off the charts mm-hmm. it's just off the yeah. charts like if off he was a charts. guest on a show it's like you know you would watch you would watch the tonight show you would watch letterman if yeah. he was on because you the knew the way his mind worked was and it's just, just and it was always Perfect. It was yeah. always perfect. Yeah. So. Basically, his whole life, he was like you in 2012. Yeah, exactly, so, right? Yes. 13. 13. Yes. Well, I don't know if he was that good. Because, I mean, after all, one can I dream. was doing one some voiceover dream. stuff yeah. for video games. Oh, my God. I think that I saw That's an interview crazy. with Robin saying, mm-hmm. Dag nab it mm-hmm. if I could just yeah. be like that man. My favorite... Uh, little snippet uh-huh. of his was when he was on Inside the Actor's Studio yeah. with James Lipton. Yeah. And and the question was like, what's your favorite noise or favorite sound or something like that? Yeah, yeah. And Robin Williams' response was, huh? <laughs> and he, he was like, he, I think the, the response was that he said, because it's, uh, he says it's musical, but there's also something else to it or yeah. something like that. And I was yeah. like, I love yeah. that. I love that, yeah. yeah. Because to this day, like, I'm still... He like, always this, had a response. It's always going to be just funny. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. Listen, when you squeeze the mustard or the ketchup and it farts, oh, it's funny. Yes. It doesn't oh, matter how yes. old you Absolutely. are. Absolutely. It is funny. <laughs> and people who try not to think that it's funny are you even... You know, all of a sudden, it. this is becoming laugh. a different kind of a show. Well, no, but I'd like to, look, I bring this Can up all the time. Can we get some condiments? Let's I think about, a, let's think about yeah. how long, uh, like, the, the species of mankind has been around. These sounds have been with us for a long time, and we're still finding them funny and still embarrassed by them. Yes. And there was one of the funniest uh, memories I have of a high school buddy and I. He and I went to like Ruby's, a little burger joint, right? Mm. Right. Shooby dooby on, shooby dooby don down to Ruby's or something like that, down in Tustin. And we were there like, you know, like high school kids, like late afternoon. So the shifts were sort of changing. Nobody was in the place. The servers were, um, uh, what do they call it? Break, not uh, combining or condensing, where you take the half empty mustard oh, uh, right. and, and, and uh, ketchup <laughs> bottle and you put it into another one so you start condensing, I think. Recycling. Right. Simply, yeah, right, yeah. exactly what it is. Like, I don't yeah. know, it's like, this, uh, this is six Recycling months old. Recycling is Who cares what, what the expiration so date is? So just two juvenile high school boys mm. yeah. who are sitting in Ruby's by themselves as this <laughs> cute little waitress is you know, down going <laughs> Like over and over and over again, and we're trying to like you know be cool, and it was just every now and then, like, <laughs> and we're just in the corner. To this day, I still think like, I'm 43, and I go, man, it's still funny. It's I would still so be, funny. I'd be 43. Oh, we if we saw that today, man, we'd be crashing. I will forever myself. think of you Absolutely. when I squeeze mustard. Thank you very person. much. Yeah. Thank Listen, you, you know what we. Love you. We love your work. We We're love having you here. Notes right oh, here, yeah. I'm going to leave it on farts oh, or yeah. funny. That's yeah. great. Flatulence is universal. Someone, yeah. someone out there right now is but like my they legacy. Do not come over <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. Robin, um, thank you so much. Thank man. you. We know how thank you, you are, man. Thank you. Time thank you. Thank you. So down. great. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. So much abundance and good health and Absolutely. happiness. Absolutely. Great to meet you guys at that comedy night, and I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. And congrats yeah. on all of this and the new digs and everything. Thank, and thank you. Man. 303. This is. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to be the 303. Three episodes. Woo! Three, three. So symmetrical. All right. Well, listen. Thanks. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time. And hey, remember, you always have time for a little buzz. I'm Roger Craig Smith. And I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Make some noise for Stace Dog and Chuck D. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed with us. Leo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit demosthatrock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.